Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Now I've been working on my solar panel mount. It's about a week's worth of work for me. <laughs> um, there's two days digging holes. And I bought that post hole digger, got the dry shaft fixed and used it, but the darn things won't drill through flagstone layers. So this last post there was the worst one as far as depth goes. And I got down about two and a half feet and I run into that layer. And I took a masonry drill about 10 inches long and I could drill just about half of that and it was still nothing but stone. So I drilled a series of holes and we chiseled and hammered on it for a few hours and, and got it down a little bit farther, but it most certainly isn't going to sink in the ground because they're all sitting on bedrock, I guess you'd say. So I got one section. It was going to be too long to make all one, so I broke it into two sections. And this design, there's several guys on YouTube that I watched that built there's like this and it seemed kind of nice so I thought I'd try a wooden one. All my other ones were metal and my metal supply is dwindling and if you see the price of new you lose interest right away so <laughs> of course wood isn't cheap either but so this is what we got and it uh, I just got a couple panels set well, they're not sitting on there. They're fastened on just to make sure everything fits, but it moves easily. It's balanced decent. So, I think I'm just about ready to put panels on this. I got a few little tweaks to do yet, and we can throw some panels on it because right now the uh, the garage doesn't have any solar panels. They're stacked up on the back porch. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, I got the panels mounted on the first section. They went really well. I just made some clips for the back, just pieces of angle. Well, let me get one. Just made these aluminum clips. And this bolts onto the solar panel, and then this will mount onto the, the wooden cross member. And I just put four of these on the solar panel, uh, the original holes that are slotted, so I got a little bit of leeway, probably about three quarters of an inch. And I just take, they're on there like this. And I take the panel and just set it in place, slide it over, get it all squared up, put four screws in it. You're all done. Flip it over and put one on the other side to keep it balanced. And then I'll put a second one on that side, flip it over this way, put two on this side, flip it over and put two on that side till it get done. It actually went pretty well. It took me five hours to do that one because the phone kept ringing. And people kept coming. <laughs> so I would say, you know, working by yourself hour and a half, two hours would be taking your time to, to put the panels on. And I did temporarily wire up a few of them just so I got something coming into the garage and I'm not, not without power in there. So get the framework all done and figure the wiring out later. I'll show you how nice it and it moves really nice. It's always a metal of the, or yeah, <laughs> a fan of the metal racks. Um, but 
I kind of like this wooden one. It's, it's going to be easier to change the panels on. And uh, it moves easier, well, because it's balanced. My other ones were balanced too, but they, they still weren't nearly as friendly as this. So, I think I'm going to be happy. It, uh, it's quite a bit of work by yourself, but got her done. Took me a week. Last Sunday I started digging the holes, and today's Saturday, so that's how far I've gotten. Working by myself, pretty much. Wifey helped me hold a few of the boards in place because I couldn't be two places at once. But other than that, pretty much a one man show. So I think I'm going to call this a video for now. So if you enjoyed her, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys want to build one of these, there's several pretty good YouTube videos. That's where I got the idea from it's not my idea so but i like it real well see you next time and thanks for watching